iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is Iron and Soul. Back to with another video. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment. It'll be greatly appreciated. In addition to that, please follow me over at Instagram at The Kings of Best as well for other content. Today's topic is something that is not an exciting topic, but something that needs to be discussed. And that is the rise in STDs across America. In fact, it's an epidemic, according to one post I read on Instagram. And let's talk about the, the facts, go with the facts first, and I'll give my opinion later in this video. Okay, so here are the raw facts from a post I read over on The Shade Room on Instagram. Health officials are warning Americans of sharp rising cases of sexually transmitted diseases, including a 26% spike in new syphilis infections reported since last year, the highest since 1991 and most number of total cases since 1948. Last year alone, there were nearly 700,000 cases of gonorrhea, over 171,000 cases of syphilis, and this is really sad, 2,677 cases of syphilis among newborn babies. Let's talk about what's going on. What is really going on with this? Why are so many people nationwide um, receiving these STDs? And, and let me say this about condoms and, and plan Bs and all that stuff, listen to me. All this stuff can't save you. And that's what these, these facts and this data is teaching um, based on today's topic. There are a lot of reasons for this. And what you have to understand is, first of all, the scripture is clear, God cannot be mocked. The scripture is clear that the merest bed is undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. So you cannot escape the judgment of God. What's happening in our nation right now is we have a lot of men, a lot of women who have replaced Love will lust. All this talk about love is dead. And, and, you know, it's not hard to find a thousand videos online with men talking about women and find another thousand videos of women talking about men. And it's even in the music industry now. A lot of the songs that are popular are songs dissing men, dissing women. And you have this general distaste that I'm, I'm watching, observing, that men and women have for each other right now. But your sex drive is gone. So as much as you talk about women, you still want to have sex with them. As much as you women talk about men, you still want to get in bed with that man. And so we see a bunch of people just using each other as sex objects. No love, no commitment, no desire to, to raise a family. And I know when you start talking like this, people think, oh man, old man talk. That's y'all problem. I'm not no old man. I'm tired of you guys making me an old man because I got some sense. I'm in my 30s, bro. Okay? So if you're in your 20s, I was there not that long ago. So stop talking like I'm some old man. And the reason you think that way, because you're in this place of arrested development where you think youth is an excuse to be wild. It's an excuse to be sexually impure. You say, big bro, you understand. What don't I understand? What you mean I don't understand? You see me sit down in this, this chair from the chest up. I'm 6'2 and been healthy my whole young manhood. Played four years of college basketball. You know, come that a 6'2 black male playing basketball at a predominantly white college. Hello. So I don't want to hear that, bro. That's an excuse. I made a constant decision then as I make one now to keep my pants up. Though. I don't want to hear that crap about you understand. What do I understand? Everything on me work. I'm sitting here in my 30s with 10%, 10.9% at this point. I ain't 10% 10 yet. 10.9% body fat. So I'm in a good shape now in my 30s. I was even better shape in my 20s. Which means I had high testosterone. You know what comes to testosterone? Sex drive. I'm going to talk to you as direct as possible. More than what? Everything on me work. That's an excuse. We, we use our manhood. A lot, of our, a lot of you guys use your sexual desire as an excuse to be undisciplined. As an excuse to have no moral fiber. So I don't want to hear that about what I don't understand. I do understand. I understand how to have a woman come on to me and say no because I have, I got to go. I have a vision. I'm on a mission. And I have been on a mission. So this idea that because you are in your youth, as you think, that is an excuse to be wild. Sleeping with 15, 20 women within a couple months, some of you guys. 
sleeping with escorts, just out here out of control. And, and the judgment of God is coming with disease. You're finding these, these domestic disputes where men are killing women, women are killing men. This happens all the time. I've seen the videos like you've seen the videos. People out here going crazy. I saw a video of a woman running her boyfriend over. And one woman comes home, a man cheating on her, he gets mad, stabs the lady. So all of this sexual sin has become this bomb in the world that's blowing up. It is going to get worse because people don't want to listen. So to wrap this talk up, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Bottom line, I'm going to say what I've been saying for three years now. Get married or be celibate. That's what I did. I was celibate from 20 to 28. You know, did a little something about 28, 29, you know, that I shouldn't have, to be honest with you. Um, and then I got married at 30. So that's my my example, and that's what I believe you should do as a man. With all this going on, with all these sexually transmitted diseases, my advice to you, sir, is to get you a woman and get married. If you don't want to handle that, then stay celibate. Keep your pants zipped up, get on retention, get on no fat, stay on that until you find your wife. Out here just calling women up, getting escorts, um, just knocking down anything, just walking, being desperate, being thirsty, messing around. You know, some some of you guys mess around with these old women. You 25 with a woman 45. Come on, man. That don't make no sense. <laughs> Come on, bro. Ha have some type of respect for yourself. If you 20 some years old, why are you with some woman 40 some years old? And that's a lot that happened right now to a lot of these women coming on to you, these cougars coming on to these young men. You understand? And you have to be able to deal with that. Or let women control you through sex. So some of you guys, man, as strong as you think you are, you ain't got no control in that area. These women, these women run right over you. Whether it's an older woman or whether it's a woman your own age. And some of you guys right there, bro, that keeps you stuck. Because you don't know how to you do not know how to govern yourself with these women. And that's something you need to work on. So that's my advice in closing. Get married. Or stay sober. And this will keep you from receiving an STD as millions have across the nation over the last two years. So that's all I got to say today. This is your brother Iron and Soul. Follow this channel. Subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel. And follow me on IG at The King's Best. We greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching this video. God bless. Peace.